Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hey everyone, this is Dennis. Welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast. This is episode number 133. Thank you so much again for your time this morning. Wherever you are, I hope you're well. I hope the world's being kind. If it isn't, you know, <laughs> maybe you should try going first. <laughs> Here's my question for you. My question is, based on how you treat your clients and based on how you do your work and what you pay attention to, what kind of loyalty are you building with your, with your clients? There's two kinds of loyalty. The first kind of loyalty is, is um, convenience and obligation. The second kind of loyalty is connection and identity. So hear me out. The first kind is convenience and obligation. Think of it, it can break down into two ways and, and neither one of them are particularly fantastic. The first is habitual, okay? Which is you are a part of your client's routine. Um, you, they, you go by the same gas station constantly so you get your gas at the same place. You go by the same grocery store, the same coffee shop, so you use it all the time. But you're not emotionally invested, it's just part of your habit and the moment your habit changes, you will never use or darken the door of that business again. I could bore you to tears with businesses that come to mind that I have that I no longer frequent only because I changed um, geography. In one case I literally moved an office a thousand feet and never went to a business I went to every day of my life for years again. I moved my office 1,000 feet. Never saw the guy again. Okay. The second is transactional. Okay, which could be um, they, you're, you have hotel loyalty because you have hotel points. There is something about your loyalty that is tied to the, uh, the quid pro quo arrangement of, of I buy this from you and you give me extra. I buy, I buy a hotel room, you give me a room and some loyalty points. You're keeping me connected. Okay? Or obligation. It could be, um, you know what, I, I'm not really in love with my cell phone company or my bank or even my investment advisor, let's say. But my perceived, the perceived hassle factor is enough to keep me here. That's what, that's what corporations do, right? Big faceless corporations. They want to get as many lines of business into you as possible to make it impossible to leave, right? It, it works. It's not exactly generous, but it does work. Then there's this whole other kind of loyalty. I'd like to think it's the loyalty that I have with you. This is the loyalty of connection and identity. As so many of you flatter me by saying, Dennis, I've been watching your videos for years. I've been reading your blog for years. I've been seeing you speak for years. And you tune in here faithfully and thank you to hear what I have to say. And why you do that is you have a feeling, trust it, that you and I see the world the same way. We have that connection, okay? And we share a worldview. We look at salt, we look at the world the same way and therefore how we're going to solve our problems the same way. We look at our responsibility to our clients the same way and how we approach our work the same way. And that is what keeps us connected. And that is an incredible bond. And it's really, really hard to shake. It also takes a long time. So that's my thought for you this morning. As you go forward, what kind of business are you running? What kind of loyalty does it foster with your clients? Is it the fear? Is it the loyalty of fear and obligation? Or is it the loyalty of connection and identity? And how you, as always, how do I zero in on doing this right, Dennis? Ask these two questions. Who is my work for and not for? Yeah. And what change does my work help create? That's it, everybody. That's it. Answer those two questions and keep tuning into this blog. And if you need some help, reach out to us and ask and maybe we can help you. Wherever you are in Blogland, be well. Thank you so much, as always, for your attention. Take care. We hope you enjoyed the Serious Shift blogcast. We would love any suggestions, feedback on topics, ideas, or challenges that may have you feeling stuck. Also, please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content. It helps Dennis out tremendously. On behalf of Dennis and the team, see you next episode.